Hello, this is Ali Reza Lehan, and I want to show you a quick run on Pivis's software. So, if I begin with the project design, and in the system, click on Grid Connected. In the new, in this new window, I put the name for the file and put the name for the project and I hit into here. I select the site. You can see you can hear search the name the city or come here and drop down it and Select the country. Select the country and okay. And here you can select the city. Okay. Okay. It's here. The name of city and the name of the country. Now we have to uh, I have to select the meteor database. So click on meteor database and here click on synthetic hourly data generation. Okay here I have the same name for the city, for the site, and the information for the temperature diffuse and global for each month and year. And you can change the unit for the calculation. So I select the Execute generation for the synthetic out of data. Okay. And back a little bit. It failed. And as you can see here, it shows me to save the project. And I came here and Click to save the project. Description, put a descri description here and a name to the file and save. Yep. Okay. By saving the project, these tabs become active. Okay. Now. I begin with the orientation. Okay, in here I have the field type, which is the structure of the field that I want to run the simulation with, and I select it in fixed tilted plane. And here I have the plane tilt, which is the tilt angle and azimuth, which is the azimuth angle. And the tilt is the same as here. And the azimuth is here. By changing the tilt angle and azimuth angle, uh, the transposition factor and the loss and the global on vector plane will change. Okay, see here, see it here. Uh, I'll change the tilt plane to 40 and you can see that these numbers here, here and here will change.
change the tilt tilt angle until the loss becomes zero and the level be in the more is better and if I change it to 47 this is not a good this is not good for the loss by respect and as you can see here the azimuth angle is faced with the south okay after selecting the tilt angle and azimuth angle we consider the yearly irradiation yields and so I'll click on OK click on OK alright so we come here to the system and select the ones that we need to select the PV modules and inverters okay you can see here that we have the sub sub arrays and you can add the sub arrays here okay. we start we start by precisely help that you can select each one that you want to begin into the into the paint power or the land that you want to design okay we select it by the power in six kilowatts and then we come here to PV module and select available now for the information and in the manufacturers for PME modules we select the GA0 which is you can change it as you want and as you want to consider it to your simulation you can here change the type of the GA0 PV modules and select them and as you can see here this is the number of modules by this information for 6 kilowatt power plant alright with the next step we come here to the inverter select the inverter as in the PV modules we select the available now information and we select the manufacturer for the inverter as you like everything that you want to you can choose so okay I select the ABB and you can select the type of the inverter they want to use in your consideration okay all the all, all the arrays that you want to use in your simulation should be considered in your calculation and you have to know that why and how many modules in, in series should be considered and the number of strings okay in, in in this box in this box the software shows all shows us how should we do the array okay if I decrease it it shows me that the overload error overload loss is zero and and um, nominal power ratio is 1.02 okay by changing it you can 